Okay, so now we're going to set up our Buzz Apps app builder account, and we're going to go to bzzapps.com, buzzapps.com. Click the Start Now button, and click on Register Here. And we're going to set up a new account. So choose an account name. Put in your password, and of course, put in an email address. Now, this must be the same email address you used when you signed up for iCash Secrets VIP membership. This is to ensure that you'll have access to unlimited apps. And put in your name, and put in security code, and click register. Right now, we've got a new account, and we're going to create a new app. So, click on create new app, and that takes us to the application templates page. And as you can see here, there's many templates to choose from. Uh, there is a niche app, such as Celebrity News, is what we're going to use today. Uh, there's restaurant apps, car dealership apps, real estate apps, coffee shops, taxi cabs, health and fitness. If we go through the list a bit further, you'll find there's things to do with photography, fashion, Christmas card apps. Valentine's Day templates and uh, sports. Okay, but today we are going to do a celebrity news app. Okay, so we're going to click on select the celebrity news and it takes us to this page which is us preview this template. So while on this page we can quickly preview what the template is like. Of course everything in here can be changed. We can delete, add, whatever we like as far as page types and we'll get onto that later. So as you can see, as it stands, it's got a link to a blog, or we could have that as an RSS feed, and link to some news headlines. Again, those could be an RSS feed or to a, a website. We've got the send a picture page type, and of course, it's, this is just a demonstration. You'll be able to see this on your phone. You actually be able to test it directly on your phone. On this tab, we have a menu page type, which links to a mobile Facebook page, mobile Twitter page, an RSS feed from a blog, or anything we like, actually and a mobile YouTube page. And on this tab, the Memo tab, we have a link to the Memo game, which is a simple game which can be created just by uploading a few photos. Okay, so let's click on Use Template. And we're going to call it Celebrity News 1. In fact, this is the default name that's given to it. The template is called Celebrity News and it just assigns a number to the end of that template name. You can call it anything you like, but we'll just leave it as that for the moment. Let's click on the Create button and it takes us to a setup wizard. Okay, so let's run through the setup wizard. Let's give the app a name. Let's call it uh, Celebrities Celebrities Unplugged or something, anything. We're going to give it a description, everything about celebrities. Right. Okay, the platform. Well, being a celebrity app or a niche app, you're probably better developing for Android, simply because everything on iPhone is reviewed. Apple will review everything, and it can be quite strict. So, if you're going to do niche apps, you're safer going for Android, where basically every app is approved. So, we we'll select Android, and we're just going to have it as the standard tabs. Okay, we're going to give it an icon. Well, we'll just leave it as it is for the moment. We won't upload a new icon. We'll cover that later. Font size, we're not going to change anything there. Background image, we'll leave that as it is for the moment. Contact info, this is for when we upload it to the App Store. We don't have to fill this in yet. We can fill it in later on. And finish. Okay, so we're done. And now we can test our new app on our smartphone. Of course, the app isn't finished. We still need to customize it but we can at least see what it looks like and test out the functions. So even though in this example we're building for Android, we can actually preview the app on an iPhone and vice versa. We could have been building for an iPhone and we could still preview it on an Android phone. Some functions will be slightly different, but most of the time everything will appear basically the same on both phones. So the next step is to download a preview app so we can load this app into our phone and test it out.